Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday the 8th of November, we're off to Hereford. Competitive fields, the ground has eased with all the rain around. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 145. This is the Kazoo Handicap Chase, three mile, one furlong and 44 yards. Class five for four-year-olds and that was just shy of £5,000 to the winner and a good opportunity for Henry Daly's Bretney to strip a bit fitter for his recent seasonal reappearance at Yatoxter. He got tired that day, weakening on the home turn, beaten 22 lengths by T for free, but it should have brought him forwards a touch. Henry Daly's had a winner since then. Most of his horses have needed a run, but they're starting to hit their stride. Bretney, quietly progressive most of last season, running really well over this course and distance in March when second behind Ashfield Paddy. That was arguably a career best effort from the front under Sam Twiston Davis, jumping well, just pegged by Ashfield Paddy late. He's had nine runs over fences, one win, six places. He's a thorough stare. He keeps galloping. Hopefully, he'll be gunned from the tape here and make all the running. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 245. This is central roofing novice handicap hurdle, nearly two miles six. Class five for four-year-olds and upwards, £4,684 to the winner. And one who caught my eye last amount is Quiet Thunder of Sarah Hollinshead. Now, this four-year-old filly sprang a big surprise earlier in the season, coming home at 50 to one from a virtually impossible position. I doubt that form is worth a great deal in truth, but she does remain open to improvement. She's only run four times over hurdles in total. And last time out, in the first time blinkers on just her second handicap, I thought she ran really well at Stratford. She was only beaten five and a quarter lengths behind Samation, who's run really well since. And uh, the horse who was behind Samation of uh, Richard Bandy's come out and won as well since then. So the form's okay. Uh, and, and Quiet Thunder would have gone a lot closer closer if she'd seen any daylight on the home turn she was actually beginning to run on really strongly and got her run checked so I thought she was an unlucky loser there who hasn't really been commented on this stiffer test of stamina two miles six nearly should suit her as I say there should be a little bit more improvement to come Chris Ward who's ridden her on all four occasions over hurdles back on again takes off a handy three pounds hopefully she'll be a double figure price and go really close best of luck on Tuesday betting experts